So in the middle of a summer pool party, you're happily kicking back, having a couple of margaritas, and then you hear, <coughs> you have just been handed a four-year-old that they found on the bottom of a pool. And when you're trying to figure out what size tube, how much happy, et cetera, in kids, you could try to come up with that off the top of your head, but why would you possibly do that when there's got to be a better way? So if in this four-year-old, we go ahead and we take our Braslow tape, we put red to the head, measure down to the heels, we see that she is a white. And once I know that she's a white, I can see that she gets a 5.0 uncuffed, a 4.5 cuffed. Either way, we're gonna tape it at 14 to 15. If we have to use a backup airway, we're gonna pop in a two LMA. And if we needed to pop in an NG tube, we get a 10 French NG. So if we've got all things airway on one side, we flip it over and we're gonna find our drugs on the other. And we see that this little four-year-old ranges from 15 to 18 kilos. And more importantly, when it comes to how much appy do you want me to push, it says that we're gonna give 1.7 cc's of appy. So now that you have a basic idea as to how the Braslow tape actually works, your next pediatric resuscitation can go something like this. Red to the head, this child is a pink. Therefore, we get a three and a half uncuffed or a three o cuffed tube. We're gonna tape it at 10, 10 or a half. It's gonna be an eight French suction. And if I can't get this kid tubed, we're gonna go ahead and use a 1.5 LMA. And then if I flip over in the pink section, I see that this little kid is six to seven kilos. And since all I really care about is what size tube and how much epi, up at the top, I can see that I'm gonna go ahead and give 0.6 cc's of epi. And when it comes to sick kids, you've got a Braslow tape, you've got hand tabby, you've got toys out there. Simply, you have to play with your toys because your sick kids deserve absolutely nothing less.